Word up. Ayo. It's your boy Zinny B. And, uh, first and foremost, beard game on point. Look at this black beard. <laughs> Alright, so, this one, he talks a little bit about, uh, magic. He, he kind of guides us with, with some signs and guideposts and, uh, points to leapfrog off of into where true magic stems from always and of course as with everything in life we can get caught up in the manifestations of it and then lose track of where the real magic is where the where it stems from where it begins so yeah, this, this will speed up a little bit once once I start playing what he says, because he, uh, Zen is very good at sparking awareness within people because of the awareness that he has inside of himself. So, and this is a big part of why he shares with, with people is it connects. <laughs> It is in, in the hopes of enlivening what is inside of them, but what they have forgot is there. But sometimes we need reminders of just how fucking powerful and badass we are. Because everyone, everyone is their own little universe inside themselves. Like, <laughs> you guys really have no idea just how special each and every one of you are. Of what you can really do when you put your mind to it but not just with that you have to connect the mind with the heart build that bridge and you can literally do anything and everything you dissolve all boundaries and barriers and illusions and then you can really start to have fun <laughs> redefine what is really real for you start to be the true creator not just the player be you can be the player of course but you realize that you're creating the whole thing to begin with and then you just let go of all that and just have fun and in so doing you're and encouraging everyone else to have fun with inside themselves so that they engage the true quintessential essence of what they are and then it just, it just has a ripple effect a snowball effect if you will and more and more of us start to engage all of our processes <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna play some of this so that I don't I don't butcher it <laughs> because uh, and I really wish this was like a live stream that would have been really cool hopefully hopefully Zen can do some lives pretty soon Now, now the sun in and out, right? It might be 11 hours, it might be 13 hours, but they're, they're basically, we'll say 50-50. There's sunlight and there's darkness. Yet, the moon still provides light. So no matter how you perceive this, there's always more light than there is darkness. Always. When there's sun out, there's all, there might be a cloud, but it's still pretty bright outside. I don't care how dark it is during the day. It's pretty fucking bright out. And at the night, I don't care how dark it is, so a moon there. So no matter what, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> and 
yes, the the moon and the stars, and then if there's cloud coverage, then then it can get to, into some, some really dark. It can get into really really darkness, the kind of darkness where uh, <laughs> it it's like you're you're in the void again. But uh, essentially, what he's getting at is even no matter the darkness, like. You, you can find the light because you are the fucking light. And there are also uh, bioluminescent plants, fungi, uh, creatures out here. And uh, so, I mean, it's part of nature to create its own light within any kind of darkness. Especially whenever you can dissolve the layers of say perception into the into the moment and the isness and see things for how they really are and then you will see the light in every little cell and every little thing and then you will really come to understand the purpose of quote unquote dark and light and why we need both and how both are a part of us and a part of all of this. So whatever the light is overwhelms the dark, the dark. I, and by, by light and dark, I, I, you, if you've never heard me speak before, you know what I mean. I'm not, just, I'm not <laughs> saying like black and white. I'm not saying, um, you know, I'm just saying. you saying that empty and full. Uh, um, there's definitely a little bit. If there was more darkness, this should be this whole this whole reality would be shut down already. If there was darkness everywhere. What would you put? I mean, how could you how, how could we survive all the darkness? <laughs> we came from the darkness so I mean we some of us thrive in the darkness because that's when we shine the brightest but yes we we have uh, been through cycles <laughs> in our in our long in our long term where the darkness has, I guess you could say, outweighed the light. But the more understanding and inner work that you do, you will come to realize why. You will be, you will come to answer all of your own questions, and not 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 even that, but. You, you realize how the process works. You allow the answer to come to you through your own direct experience. And then it filters through your syntax and linguistics into a form that you can understand versus the feeling. And then you finally, you know, form words to where you can match a little bit to what the feeling really is. And I will just go ahead and say, real quick, I'm not going to go too deep, but, uh, the light in the dark absolutely is simply a reflection of the collective of what the people currently on this, in this realm <laughs> is engaging. And that's always going to be the case. As above, so, lo so below. As within, so without. There can be nothing else. That's... We, we, we can trick ourselves or, or be led to believe something else, but that doesn't take away from what's really going on. And the, the ones that <laughs> are, are pulling the the wool over the eyes of uh, the majority of people 
are well aware uh, of how this shit works. That's why they are in the position that they are in. Which ultimately, you know, are is uh, setting themselves up for for a, <laughs> a majestic fall. Back into the void, back into reintegration, back into gnosis. Back into the light. <laughs> but then here come the black beards and the black dogs and the, <laughs> the black arts and the magicians and all of this. Seriously. So, yeah, <laughs> the point of this is. Have fun on your journey. Magic is is not about controlling. I, it, I, trust me, in the future, I'll, I'll, I'll give to you understanding of what time lords are and what shamanism is. Um, but magic is not about the five steps you take to, to jump over the river through the light. And really, <laughs> he says in the future, but it, it's in the past as well. I mean, he's already smoking much upon upon these these subjects and topics and, and, and where it really stems from where it begins where the root of all causality is you got a little pad here a little, little woolly pad over here you gotta jump across it it's not about those steps it's about getting to the other thing and the other thing is what you want and that's what you focus on not desire the steps because you don't you don't get to do that. Yes, yes. You don't get to know about what the steps are to take to get to what you want. It's just, that's what I want. And and you very well can. You very well can see and know all the stuff and plan, pinpoint all of it out. Uh, you can even call it foreshadowing or foresight or uh, omnisight and sense. You, you begin to sense the steps, but you don't quite know how they're going to manifest for the specific individual in the specific moment. And once you try to control the process, it turns in on itself and the leap pad the, <laughs> the disappears underneath your feet and you fall. So this is why, uh, we out here saying you have to allow the process to happen and stay focused on the desire. Be clear upon your intent and where that aligns. When I say that, I mean, are you aligning your intent with Ugh, these words? <laughs> They're so limiting. Quote unquote, you know, good or for benefit. Of, uh, say, not only yourself, but everyone. Like, it, a knowingness that through benefiting yourself, you're benefiting everyone. Or, is it coming from a place that, no, uh, I want to only benefit me and it stops there. Because if that's the case, it's, you're going to reach a point where you run straight into a fucking wall. And are forced to wake the fuck up to what you're doing. But that doesn't mean you're going to wake up. That just means you're going to run into that fucking wall and get a bl bloody nose and from it. And be given the chance, the opportunity to see what you're doing. That's magic. That's what I want. You focus. You can you just... Don't, let, don't obsess over it. Don't obsess over it. Just know what you want. Write it down on paper, make an image, make a sigil, make whatever, burn it, put it into a, um, a canister, bury it, um, do whatever technique that you think you need to do within the magical realm. Usually burning the paper is the best because it goes into the air and the air is going to work a little faster. Yeah, it's going to work with the ethers and uh, into more of the subtle realms. It's going to go into the subtle realms uh, quicker, but... These are all uh, forms of quote-unquote magic, um, but like he says in this video, which is awesome, 
is that it's not it's not what you think it is because everything's fucking magic. Life is magic. You are magic. Period. So yes, we can use tools. We can use certain uh, different methods and modalities to gain uh, maybe what we desire or what we think we want. But which you know, uh, a lot of the, a lot of the times we, what we think we want isn't what we really want. So this is why it's very important to be clear about our intent, about what we truly desire. And that's not an easy thing by any means. But I mean, you're gonna you're gonna get there quicker. You you're gonna <laughs> you, you're gonna be happy about the process and uh, enjoy it. You're gonna enjoy your fucking life a, a lot more with with clarity. So yes, experiment. I mean, life life is an experiment as well. So experiment with with anything and everything, and uh, do so with levity. Be lighthearted about uh, your endeavors. Don't be bogged down. Don't allow yourself to be bogged down by <laughs> by the shit that, that may potentially be surrounding you. Lift yourself up from it. Sing yourself a little song. Engage your heart again, and just lift your lift your own spirit up, and remind yourself of what's really important, what you really desire, and that, in and of itself, is the highest form of magic. It really is. And then once you once you couple that with a focused intent. You you combine this feeling into uh, the mental sphere, and that's when the two unite and just uh, blow up into expansion and also compression uh, at the same at the same time at the same point. And this is what the uh, modan is the the <coughs> the focal point. Where it begins and ends is with you. So the highest form of magic is imagery, period. <laughs> I've been saying this a lot lately. Period, motherfuckers, period. <laughs> no, but, but, but for real. Uh, <laughs> You are the highest form of magic, so realize what you can do um, through experiencing it. This is what it's all about, people. Experience for yourself what you really are, what we all really are. Uh, dissolve the boundaries and the layers of separation that, that were never there in the first place. That you were led to believe. Uh, most all of us were led to believe and were brought up through this fucking crazy indoctrination system. So it is a process and don't beat yourself up over not being at a certain point because it is a process. Continue forth. And uh, try not to be too hard on yourself. Yes, you have to have discipline and focus and discernment. But try not to be too hard on yourself if if you're not where you want to be. And this is like I'm saying this for my fucking self, big time, because I have a uh, it's been a big process for me. It, it's reminding myself um, or, or not beating myself up over. Not being where I knew I needed to be, and allowing maybe that to distract from the engagement that we know we need to be involved with, that we need to engage and activate within. Okay, so yeah. 
the uh, the true magic is within your own mind. It, it's the imagery. It's the symmetry of combining all the essences into the focal point within the mind, and that's where manifestation happens. And the quickness of this is going to be dependent upon the person, the individual, how much they have uh, cleared out within themselves to where they allow the flow to happen and they allow their desire to manifest in the moment. There, there are many uh, books and things that you can engage with that will remind you of these things. There are many processes you can go about and experiment with and see what works best for you. But but don't get caught up, like Zen said, don't get fucking caught up in the process. Stay focused upon your desire. And if it's maybe a desire that's kind of more, you know, maybe something you don't truly want, but but you think you want, then you'll get it. Oh, you'll fucking get it, alright. <laughs> but with that, you also get the darkness that you ha did not shed light on. You have to shine the light upon all of it. Otherwise, you're you're not realizing the full spectrum that you're bringing in. That you're manifesting for yourself. And that's going to present itself to you. So it's up to you to decipher and discern what it is you're bringing about upon yourself. That's, that's alchemy. That's true magic. In, in its original essence, is you, is what you're doing in every moment. With what you're choosing to engage with, with what, what you're choosing to focus upon. And you, you can get uh, as deep or as subtle or as shallow <laughs> as you want with, with this stuff. And it, it can get uh, pretty pretty intense and quote unquote scary for some people, but it's only scary because you, if you're scared of something, or if you have fears, because you're unwilling to see into the depths of your own beingness. There are things that you have blocked off from yourself, maybe because of past traumas, maybe because of programming, maybe a combination of everything. But once you start to really engage in this deeper level stuff, that all that shit is going to have to come up to the surface for you to deal with it. So like it or not, once you're on that process, you're going to have to deal with uh, pain like you never knew and if you survive that process, then you have just empowered everyone by doing this for yourself. You did this for everyone, and that's like the most magical fucking thing that each, each of us can do, is to do it for ourselves, because in so doing, this, this helps to dissolve The bullshit illusions and barriers on a collective level. And this is the snowball effect that we're experiencing right now. This, uh, for, for people that are a little bit <laughs> waking up or are totally awake, uh, the craziness and, and the weird oddities that uh, we are noticing in a uh, city, state, country, world, <laughs> level, whatever level it is that you're able to notice certain things, and then evil, and then even, <laughs> evolve, on the, uh, you could say, I don't want to use that term, galactic, but, uh, astrological level. Uh, if you're noticing the, the shifts and turns and changes. And, uh, 
I just want to remind you that it all starts with what is most important, and that is desire, and that's compound desire. So the collective desire is what is really changing shit. That's what's really changing here. <laughs> And it's a beautiful thing to be a part of and witness and uh, knowing <laughs> what's 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 going on, what's about to come down, uh, the, what's coming down the pipe, so to speak. But also knowing that this is going to be very fucking amazing and beautiful because uh, there's a lot that needs to fall away individually and collectively for all of us so that we can really get down into that clarity of what, our, what all of our true desire is. So this is going to be releasing all religion, all dogma, all bullshit scripts and getting down to the essential essence. Yeah. And I mean, the more you wake up, like, the more you're going to attract to you, like, the the truth, if you want to call it that. The, it's just what is. And it's already going on. There's, there's, well, there's quite a big movement of uh, people getting back in touch with <laughs> the truth. So, I mean... It's, it's it's all already right there for you. It's at, and you could say at your fingertips, but it's at your it's at your it's at your mind. So I mean, once the only question is, when are you going to open up to it? And once you do, you'll realize there's a lot more of you, a lot more of us than what you may have thought. We out here. But you can bury it. If it's, a, if it's a bigger, if it's a bigger idea, probably bury that. And then that, the earth will eat it up and that will blossom into like a, a giant tree that will give you fruits. Ah, yes. <laughs> oh, the seed. Plant the seed, people. Oh my gosh. Within yourselves, like pure thoughts and ah, uh, within and without. Plant your own beauty seeds, and then also plant your own pure seeds uh, within the earth, and bear witness to the process that happens, the growth that happens naturally, and reflect upon that. Listen to it. Learn to listen. Life is magic, people. Magic is all around you. Open up to it. So, if you need something really big, bury the shit. If you want something kind of like, I need it right now, write it down, make a sigil, burn it, and then that should come faster that way. So, there you go. But, you know, we'll talk very soon. Hope you uh, so yes, once again, just to recap, the most powerful form of magic is being able to sit there in stillness, in the void, in the darkness, and spark the light, and use your imagery and imagination to create whatever outcome that you desire. And you attach your feelings to this. You attach your emotions to the aspect and to, to whatever subject it is. And you exist within this moment to where you have it. You, you kind of project yourself into the future, so to speak, in, in this manner. You, you feel what it feels like to already have what you desire because ultimately you you really do already have it 
So the more you attune with this feeling and the imagery of this, you connect the two, things are going to start to manifest really fucking quick for you. And if you don't think that that's the highest form of magic, then you have never experienced that for yourself. <laughs> so yeah, you are the magic people. You are the shit. So get with it. Let's do it. Peace.